Brothers and sisters, when you go through difficulty, sometimes you think it is bad for you, but Allah knows it is the best thing for you. I give you an example. People who have health problems, financial problems, family problems, any other issues that you have, you have an issue, you're trying to get married. You don't know if that marriage is actually going to work. I know of people who have fought to marry someone. They marry them, they have a child or two and there is a divorce. And then they say, I should never have fought for this. But you didn't know. Perhaps Allah created an obstacle in order to keep you away from it. This is why there is something known as istikhara. Istikhara meaning seeking the guidance of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala in a certain matter. What do we say at the end of that supplication we say oh Allah if you know that this is not good for me it's not good for my deen it's not good for my faith for my present for my future then keep it away from me create a barrier between that and myself so suddenly many barriers are being created but you still say my istikhara was positive it was positive you don't know we have a misnotion people think when you read this dua of istikhara you will see a dream that's not true. You may, but 90% of the time you won't. It will either be facilitated, made easy or made difficult. Read the meaning of that dua and you will know how you will get a response. Oh Allah, if this is good for me, it is good for my deen, my dunya, my life, my future, my akhirah, my hereafter, then make it easy for me and give me blessing in it. So suddenly the door start opening. The next day you get a phone call. The following day someone tells you a good word. Then someone else tells you, my brother, I heard something nice. It's all positive signs and things are facilitated. So the point I'm raising is we will all go through difficulties, problems, issues. Why are they better for us at times? Ajaban li amril mu'mini. The Prophet sallallahu says the affairs of a true believer are amazing. Because when goodness comes in his or her direction, he or she is thankful. It's better for him. And when difficulty and hardship comes in his or her direction, he or she bears patience. That is better. How many of us, in all honesty, we don't really pray properly. We don't really obey the instructions of Allah in a proper way. We're weak. And we say, I'm weak. I'm a human. You know, I remember uh, one man was telling me that Every time I remind a friend of mine about the wrong that he's doing, he keeps, he keeps on saying, make dua for me. Make dua for me. Brother, stop your alcohol. Make dua for me. Brother, stop uh, the drugs. Make dua for me. Brother, stop the pornography. Make dua for me. Well, together with dua, you need to do something as well. Yes, dua is powerful. Continue making dua especially like for our children, for those whom we don't have sometimes absolute control over. One of the most powerful elements and aspects is dua. You want something, make dua. But I want to tell you, when Allah exposes you to something that you need to make a dua for, He's showing you who is the boss. He's showing you who is in charge. And He brings you to Him. Like I was saying, many of us, we're not ideal. But don't you agree that after we've had a big problem in our lives, we become better in terms of our relationship with Allah. You have a problem, you have a difficulty, you have a sickness and suddenly you go to the masjid for the first time in so many weeks and then you become regular and then you lay, raise your hands and you say, Oh Allah, I'm crying to you. Help me. I seek forgiveness for the evil I've done. Wow. Subhanallah. What happened? Had it not been for that difficulty in your life, you perhaps would not have called out to your maker. So don't you see how it was a gift for you? Allah says, oh, I love you. Look at this worshiper of mine. The hadith says Allah becomes so happy with the repentance of any one of his worshippers. So you made Allah happy, but Allah brought you in. Allah roped you in through difficulty.